Um, so, this video is about depression and uh, things that have helped me. So, I have my notes here because I prefer to do things in one take, but I don't know if you can see that. So, basically, this is as I have a split down the side and the two different types of depression I've experienced. And the first one is type 1 depression, I've called it. And that's where you're depressed and you don't know why. You feel like uh, clouds just hovering over you and you, everything just feels like shit, pretty much. Uh, this is for people that feel like their life's fine, there's nothing wrong. Um, yeah, so they don't know why they're depressed, but they feel this just, uh, just a cloud hovering over them the whole time. So the things that helped me with that type of depression was, the first thing I've put here is diet. Now that's the big one, it really is a big one. And I first noticed this was when I was really depressed, I was willing to try anything. Uh, at the time I was just chronically fatigued all the time, uh, aching and stuff. And I tried a raw diet for a few weeks raw food only and I noticed that that cloud that was following me after a couple of days was no longer following me I was no longer feeling depressed depressed for no reason you, you know what I mean so diet definitely plays a big role I think it's probably uh, gluten or dairy that caused it for me the other things I have here are just thing, um, things that everybody should get um, sorted out but here it is, I have uh, posture, if you're going around with a bad posture all the time, you're going around like this, with your shoulders inwards and you're, you're hunched over and your chin's forward, that does not help with uh, how you're feeling at all, so that's definitely something you should get checked up with. Uh, the thing I have here as well is routine and inconsistent sleep. You're sleeping at all times of the day because you feel depressed and you don't know why you feel depressed, so you would rather sleep, take naps. That doesn't help. Uh, so a consistent sleep plan really does help with that as well. And the other thing I have here is breathing. So back then I would breathe into my upper chest uh, and you get less oxygen to your body and everything. And improving your breathing does help as well. There is another thing that I've... A minute ago while I was writing this that it could be. Because it was the case for me as well. Is that something is wrong. You're just not willing to admit it. And I'm not saying you are you know exactly what it is you're depressed about. And you're just not willing to admit it. I'm saying that on some sort of level you are unhappy with how your life is at the moment. Uh... You could have thought patterns that you're unaware of, just feelings of inadequacy or you feel lonely or what if I don't achieve this or just patterns that you get into with your thoughts and stuff really doesn't help. Uh, type 2 depression I have here is just you have a reason to be depressed in your mind. For example, a life situation. Uh, you've broken up with someone or something's happened in your life, your parents have died, something like that. So the things that helped me with that kind of depression, because a lot of things happened in the last four years for me, um, was you need to really just plan a change that you do, just plan a, a course of action that you can take to make yourself happier, whether it's uh, getting fit, improving your diet, just change things that you can change. Uh, the other thing that's very important is just to be grateful for what you do have. Because the thing is, generations before us, main concern was <laughs> having a meal for the day. Like, we're more privileged than 99% of the generations before us, maybe even more. And that's going back thousands of years. So you really have to just be grateful on that front. And I know it's hard to be grateful for things that we take for granted. Because we're just bombarded all the time by social media and everything. Of people taking selfies of their perfect life. And oh look at me. You know how they have the perfect uh, fake lighting. Over the top acting. Over the top laughing. Over the top everything. 
Like, look how great my life is. Look how much fun I'm having. Oh, isn't this amazing? Life's amazing. And you're you're watching that video on your computer at home in a quiet room, and you're feeling depressed already. That doesn't help. It doesn't help. The thing is, when those cameras turn off, they're not. They're nothing like that. And the other thing I've put here is. Oh right, so generations before us, for example, their main concern was having a place to sleep, <laughs> ha uh, having food for the day, not starving, and that would be it. They were concerned with living, eating, and having a place to stay, and then they would have been content. If they had the m meals that we have now, they'd be landed, they'd love it, but we take it for granted because we have an abundance of food available to us and it just doesn't enter our mind that generations before where we are now food would have been a big concern so that's definitely something to be grateful for I mean look at current generations as hundreds of thousands of orphans uh, no parents at all there's kids in Thailand that are sleeping on the floor on rugs and their only possession is a rug uh, you really cannot be depressed when you think, if you were bombarded with that every day, you would feel grateful. You have to be grateful for everything you have. Like, I'd, I, if I sit down to a meal, I'm like, I'm grateful that I don't have to worry about food. And if you just practice gratitude every day, it does improve your mood. It does. No matter what's happened to you, there are people far, far worse off than you are. Now, what else do I have here? Oh, so we're bombarded daily with what we should have. You see these uh, people on yachts and their life's absolutely amazing. So you, you compare yourself. You can't compare yourself with anyone. You have to just be who you are and just focus on your cards that you're given and make the best of it. There's no, there's no uh, gain. There's no race. <laughs> Even though those people would like you to think that. The last one that I want to mention is to stop caring what other people think. And now this was the hardest one for me. Because this is why I started doing YouTube. Because for the longest time I put it off. Purely because of what other people might think of me. I was waiting for uh, when I would clear my acne up. I was waiting for when I would feel good. And then the last one that I was waiting for was... I'll wait till I'm really fit and lose the fat on my face so that I can present myself better. I'll wait till I'm really, really happy with myself. Uh, but I just decided, no, because you there's always going to be something else. So I put my foot down and I was like, I put my first YouTube video up. I was anxious as hell. Um, and then after a week, I just stopped caring. And it didn't really bother me. So... Even though it's really hard, it really is important to just not care what other people think. And if you can get in a state of mind where you don't care what other people think, you'll be a lot happier off, uh, better off, and happier, honestly. Because I think a lot of people's depression comes from uh, comparing themselves to other people and thinking they're inferior or... Um, shit a life or whatever it is so if you can learn to not compare yourself and just focus on yourself it makes you more content one thing I will mention quickly is uh, a book that I found quite helpful was uh, by Eckhart Tolle was The Power of Now I don't fully believe in everything he says 100% but he does have a, a great point um, with that book so yeah, I definitely recommend reading that. Um, I listened to the audiobook. Personally, I preferred it. I'd listen to it before bed each night. Anyway, so if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below. Okay.